Okay, this is a fun one. All right, this is a really fun one. So I don't know how many of you guys saw the um, the uh, Penn State. This is Penn State, Maryland. This was like last week or two weeks ago now. Um, this blew my mind. This blew my mind. All right. So over the years, okay, this is not new. Oh, for like for some of you that that listen to me, like you, I know you're you you are new to the game of lacrosse and you have goalies, but there's a lot of you who are listening to me every and there's college there's college coaches who listen to me every week, and I'll tell you this right now, college coaches, you are dropping the ball. Like this is this blew my mind. Penn State gave up three goals in this game. They got torched by Maryland, but but in the first half, like they gave up like three goals. I'm gonna show you two of them. On this one particular play. So over the years, um, so one thing we have in lacrosse now is we have a shot clock. Okay. Now for the girls, if you got a girl goalie, hear me out. Okay. Because this, this, this can impact you a little bit, right? But not, I get it. Not totally. Um, but, but um, this is definitely more for the boys, but hang tight. So Ben Stone, hang tight. Um, but the idea here is that your goalie, like, what do I say about goalies? A goalie is a midi in the crease, right? Or, or another defender in the crease. And so what happens here, I'm going to play, I'll play this through once. And you guys can watch it. I'm sorry. I don't have any sound. I'll try not to breathe heavy in the mic. That gets kind of weird, but, um, but watch this. Okay. Just watch this play. All right. So the ball is, uh, ball's right here. Um, with this Maryland defender, I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just pull this back a little bit more. Um, probably got big lag here. Hang on. do 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 Laggy, 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 laggy. Come on. I have like the strongest computer on earth and it's, I don't, I don't know why it's doing this. Okay. All right. So ball's coming from X. Um, pick is going to be set right here. And then this defender right here is going to look to slide. So I'll just play this through live once. Here we go. This makes me sad. Okay. So in, in like in men's lacrosse now, right, we have a shot clock. So, which means that the ball carrier behind the cage. So here's what happens first. This, this slide here is, is dumb, right? It, it's just, it's just, it's just dumb. Um, I, I, I swear I could start a whole Facebook live, like weekly group on bad defense and maybe I should, but because that's a problem here. So, uh, the, this this pick is easily fought through. There's there's no problem here, and this defender is just like slide happy, and so this is what causes this problem, right? So he looks to slide, but then he loses track of his man, and there goes the pass. And now what this defender decides to do is instead of going behind the cage, which he should have done, like he has a plenty of an angle to go like this, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, it's he gets caught up up top. Now here. When this happens, the offense just goes into this like, you know, cut and weave and 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 just it's just whatever. Um, they just know right away to go into this one specific type of play, right? And this is the same concept if your goalie, like if you're man down and nobody covers the ball carrier behind the cage, you can't you can't just let somebody pick you apart. And that's what happens here. And Penn State did this three times, right? So the ball goes behind. And now the goalie, if you're a Division One lacrosse goalie, or even if you're a Division, I don't care if you're a Division Two, Division Three goalie, you should be athletic enough to be able to play some defense, all right? Now here, and this, this went back all the way into the 90s, where if this happened in a game, what the defenseman would go one way, and the goalie would go the other. And so in this position, in this situation, the defender is like left-handed. The goalie is actually right-handed. But what you look at is you look at the, the attacking player. So in high school, you know, a lot of times you look at the attack when you realize like, okay, they're all right-handed or she's all left-handed. But then the idea is that the, the defender would go to their strong stick side and the goalie would go to their weak side, right? So if, if, if the player's left-handed in this case, the goalie would go to attack the player on their right side 
right? The goalie's left, and the defender would go to their stick side, right? But but what happens here, we, the other thing we have is we also have shot clocks, right? So um, there's only a certain amount of time uh, that that they have to basically execute this, so they're in a bit of a rush. So defensively, I think what needs to happen here is the goalie and the defender need to go from both sides of the crease. And this is not this is not like rocket science. Um, this has been done before, and and the idea is that you go and you attack the attacker because if you don't, this happens, right? Everybody just starts to there's just cuts and cuts and cuts, and you get one defender, you get one midi who doesn't know what the hell they're doing, and they lose. They 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 and this is the hardest thing to defend because all your defenders are they're trying to watch the ball. The goalie can't watch any cutters, um, and then they get they get stuck, right? They get stuck, and then the attackman just picks them apart. So this is the easiest, probably the easiest pass they make all day, right? This attackman is is just it's just so easy to pick this apart. What needs to happen here is the goalie needs to go play on this attackman. And so does the, the the defender before they have chance to set up and and start cutting. So what I encourage your goalie to do, okay, is to in practice play some one on one defense. And this is where coaches get way too siloed, right? They get way too siloed in practice, and they're like the goalies in the cage. The defenders are doing defense things and, you know, and then you miss out on this sort of stuff because this blew my mind. This is a division one lacrosse goalie who can't pick this up. And I don't care if the Penn State coaches said, no, you shouldn't do that. Um, we're going to stay. Well, that's you just you gave up three goals on this. So this is how it started. The save was on the other end. Maryland goalie makes a pass. And then right. right you can see it right here. You see this cut come. So there's going to be a cutter coming up from the left side of the screen, right? Um, there he goes, loses his guy, and there's the pass, and in the cage it goes, right? So right, right there. Not sure why my Premier Pro is lagging. This is not. Okay. So that was one. All right. That was one. Um, the other one, okay, the other one that came up here, come on. Uh, hang tight. All right. Yeah, it's the commentator goes, that's just too easy. Yeah, uh huh. So here's another one. Uh, it's right here. Nope. Uh, okay, here. I'll play three once live. Here you go. So, so ball side right. Defense loses track of an attackman coming around the back. Right. So, so here, it, here's the mess right here. There's the long pole. Right. And then there goes. So this is a very, this, this, this is a, a really well run play because it totally stretches out there. It totally stretches out their D. All right. And now there's a guy behind. And now that defense, one of the defensemen slid. So now there's a guy stuck again behind. So that's where the goalie should have probably just gone right there, right? Simple cut, and there's the goal. It's crazy. It's just crazy. So I hope Penn State never does this again, because this is they've got better defenders than what this what this uh, needs to be. But it's just it's just silly. And I would also like the the attack or the sorry the midfielders playing defense did a horrible job as well. But it all starts when you just let a, a player, you know, you wouldn't do this anywhere else on the field. You wouldn't like let a player just hey okay uh, we're gonna just cover everybody and you get to pass. But well, you're not gonna do that, right? You're gonna send somebody to cause pressure. And I just believe at the Division One level, Division Two, like just an athletic goalie should be able to help their D and not make this happen because you're basically doubling the ball. And I think every coach in pretty much every other situation would be like, Hey, a double is a good idea done in certain ways. Um, and, uh, and the idea is like, okay, our goalie should be athletic enough to, to do that um, and make that happen. So that, that really bugged me, um, especially because they gave up um, uh, because they, they gave, they did it three times in the first half. So that was that. Carry on. I'm going to get to that in a second.
um, question. On the tall goalie thing, we could try to get lax goalies to do the TikTok drop challenge to <laughs> Beyonce by Beyonce. But Beyonce Ethan is horrified by the suggestion, but I think I'm on to something hot. I think you're right. I think that is a new TikTok trend. I, I definitely, I definitely would agree on the tall goalie thing. Yep. 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 It's true. It's true. So um, yeah, whatever it takes for your goalie. True story. This wasn't a lacrosse story. This was an ice hockey story. But um, I once came in contact years and years and years ago with an ice hockey goalie who was Ukrainian and not and and grew up and she grew up doing Ukrainian dancing as a young like it's just part of their heritage, right? And she was ridiculous in the in in the cage in in ice hockey, like just ridiculously strong, just amazing. Um, just super cool. It's just super cool to watch. And it comes from that. And so a lot of goalies don't, they don't want to do that. All right. Don't want to do that. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And thanks for listening wherever you are. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you like this. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. When you're ready, head on over to lacrossegoalieuniversity.com forward slash coaching so I can work with you and your goalie. And while you're at it, check out athletespecific.com to learn more about mental performance and high performance. You may not know this, but I work with athletes in a variety of sports. Lacrosse is my love, but man, I love athletes and the families who support them. So head on over to athletespecific.com, check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.